In this video, we'll look at how Clever's user interface is laid out. For the demonstration, I'm using a free 3D model from the SketchUp 3D warehouse. You can find it at bit.ly forward slash cleverhouse. When you import the model into your project, you should see something like this. In the centre of the screen is the viewport, which shows the model and the position of a light, and a camera. If I click on the camera, a panel opens on the right of the screen showing its properties. You can do this for any object in the scene. To close the panel again, just click on the small arrow at the side. The larger arrows are part of the interface for the presentation. When the viewer clicks on this one, the presentation will advance to the next step. You can think of steps as being like slides in a PowerPoint presentation. They're shown in this palette at the left of the screen. At the top right of the screen there is a link to take you to your account page. The Clever logo at the top left takes you back to the projects page. To the side of it there are six menus. Clicking on any of them will bring up new tools in the toolbar below. The view menu helps you navigate the scene. The pan tool lets you pan the camera when you left click and drag in the viewport. You can also pan by holding down the middle mouse button. The Rotate tool rotates the camera, which you can also do by holding down the right mouse button. The Zoom tool zooms the camera view in or out, which you can also do with the scroll wheel of the mouse. Clicking Auto Zoom automatically centers the viewport on your model. The Project menu works like the File menu in desktop software packages. Import lets you import a new 3D model. Save lets you save the changes to your project. Publish publishes your project, generating a hyperlink to an online version of the presentation that you can share with colleagues. Before you do that, you may want to preview the presentation, which Clever does in a pop-up window. You can also produce the presentation as a flash file, or download it as an HTML file to view offline. Stats shows the size of the files in your scene and how much memory they are using. Screenshot lets you render a screenshot through any of the cameras in the scene. The settings options control the look of the presentation once it is published and the way that models are displayed in the editor itself. The insert menu lets you add new content to your presentation. The point and directional buttons add new lights to the scene. The button drop-down adds new buttons to the interface of your presentation. The image drop-down lets you import images into the interface. If you don't have a ready-made image, the panel drop-down lets you create one from scratch. The frame button lets you add an iframe to display a web page or online video. The menu button generates an on-screen menu from the steps in your presentation. The FX drop-down lets you add animated effects to your interface controls. The Animation and Action drop-downs let you add animated effects to the presentation itself. The Section button lets you create a cross-sectional view of the objects in your scene. The Script button brings up the Script Editor, which you can use to code more advanced effects. The Scene menu shows you the objects in your scene. The Select tool lets you select them. The 3D Objects button shows a list of the 3D objects in the scene. They're arranged in a tree view similar to the Outliner in SketchUp. The Environment button shows you the files used to make up the environment of the scene. The Lights button shows you the lights. The Render button lets you render light maps. And the two Resources buttons show you the 2D and 3D assets that make up the scene. The Materials menu lets you edit the materials assigned to 3D objects in the scene. The Pick tool lets you select a material and view its properties. The Fill tool lets you assign a new material to an object. You can see all of the materials by clicking on the Scene button. The Standard button brings up a library of ready-made materials for you to use. My Library shows you any custom materials you have created. And if you click on the Cleanup button, Clever will delete any materials that aren't assigned to objects in the scene. The Presentation menu lets you make your presentation interactive. 
The Cameras button shows you the camera views you have set up in your scene and which steps of the presentation they are associated with. The Elements button shows you the interface elements. The FX button shows you the interface effects. The Dynamic button shows you any actions or animations you have set up. And the Scripts button shows you any JavaScripts you are using to control your presentation.